Today on our 2006 Lexus RX 330, we're going to take a look at and show you how to install the Curt Custom Fit Class 3 Trailer Hitch Receiver. This has the 2 inch by 2 inch opening. Its part number is 13530. Here's what our hitch looks like when we get it installed. As you can see, it's a really nice custom fit hitch. It's going to follow right along with the underside of the rear fascia here. And then it's going to step down around underneath our tailpipe there. Now, that makes it really easy to get installed because now we don't have to worry about lowering our exhaust or anything like that. This is a class 3 hitch, so we have a 2 inch by 2 inch receiver tube opening. Now with your class 3, that opens up a lot of options as far as what you want to put in your hitch. Whether you're going to be doing your towing, you've got a 5 8 pin hole here, works great with the anti-rattle devices, um, hitch pins and locks, standard pin and clips. Um, so no problem getting our ball mount secure, but also for like cargo carriers, for bike racks. Now as far as towing is concerned, and also important if you're using some of the larger bike racks and stuff like that, we're going to have a 350 pound maximum tongue weight. That's the maximum downward force we can put here at the receiver tube opening. The hitch also offers a 3,500 pound gross trailer weight rating. It's going to be the total of our trailer and everything that we've got loaded up on it. Now if we move into a weight distribution setup, our tongue weight is going to increase to 400 pounds, where our hitch is going to go up to 4,000. But we, of course, want to look into the manual of the RX-330. Make sure it can handle those loads. If not, we'll go off of whichever is the lowest. We've got convenient safety chain connection points here. We shouldn't have any real issues getting safety chains connected if we are going to be doing some towing. Maybe those great big clevis hook styles might give us a little bit of an issue, but everything else should be pretty nice and easy to secure. The hitch also offers a really nice straightforward installation. We remove a tow hook from each side and then we use the three provided bolts on each side to secure our hitch to our frame. No drilling, modifications, or part removal required. Now a couple measurements that you'll find helpful in selecting your ball mount, bike rack, or even hitch cargo carrier would be from the ground to the inside top edge of the receiver tube opening, we've got about 14 and a half inches. Then from the center of our hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of our bumper, we've got about an inch and a half. Now the first thing we're going to do for installation is to remove the tow loops that are hanging out of the bottom. We'll need a 14 millimeter socket and we'll just back out the two bolts holding each one in, one here on the driver's side, the other one over on the passenger. And while we're here, we can also see our third attachment point, which is going to be the weld nut located right here. Now, if it has one, we'll pull the cap out that's in our weld nut there. And we're going to hit this one especially with some spray lubricant, but we'll do the other two as well. And what we want to do is clean it out and free it up of any debris that might be in there. A little dust or rocks or rust, you never know what might be in there. Just kind of get it nice and cleaned out using a nylon tube brush, part number 814092. You can get that on our website if you don't have one. And since these are kind of a little bit older weld nuts, we're going to take one of our factory bolts and just make sure we can get it threaded in there, get it to start. We, last thing we want to do is find out that our holes are rusted and we got to clean them out after we're holding the hitch up. All right, we'll go check the other side and we can get our hitch in place. It's a good idea to get yourself an extra set of hands. It can be a little bit cumbersome. And what we want to do is just lift it up to our weld nuts and we're going to lift it around the exhaust there. And then we'll just take one of the M10 bolts with the conical tooth washer. We want that washer to face up towards the hitch. Put it up in place and then thread it in. Now once we get a couple good turns on that one, we'll go over and get our other side taken care of. Alright, once we have two of those started really well, we'll just let our hitch rest there while we get our other fasteners in. Alright, now let's take just a quick look to be sure we have our hitch centered on the vehicle. Once we've got that in line, we'll snug down our fasteners. Now we'll look in our instructions. We're going to find the torque specifications and we'll torque each of our bolts down to that specification. Now 
And with everything snug down, that's going to complete today's installation of the Kurt Custom Fit Class 3 Trailer Hitch Receiver, part number 13530 on our 2006 Lexus RX 330.